In this video, I'll show you how to connect your device wirelessly to ADB and send ADB commands without the use of any PC or computer or USB or root. For setting up wireless ADB, you will need to download this paid app from Play Store. But don't worry, I have your back as you can download this app absolutely for free from my telegram channel. Once you have downloaded the app enable developer option, each device got different method to enable developer mode. So search it on YouTube as per your model. For a Redmi device, go to about section and tap repeatedly on the MIUI version until you get a pop-up saying that you are now a developer. After enabling the developer option, navigate to the developer option which you can find in the additional setting. Click on the additional setting and scroll down and you will find the developer option. And once inside the developer option, look for USB debugging and enable it. Next, enable wireless debugging but before that, make sure to connect to any Wi-Fi or hotspot as it won't work on mobile data. Once you are connected to a Wi-Fi and also wireless debugging is enabled, click on wireless debugging and developer option setup is completed. Next, directly go to the home screen without clicking on the back button and launch the LADB app which was downloaded earlier. You will be presented with a screen layout like this. Next, you have to split the screen. And those who are not familiar on how to do it, kindly watch the video without skipping. Open the recent app screen, press and hold on the apps icon and tap on split icon to open the LEDB in split screen view. On the bottom half, select the setting app, tap on the pair device with pairing code. You will see a pair with device dialog pop up. Next, copy the six digit Wi Fi pairing code and paste it into the pairing code box in LEDB app. And once done, copy the 5 digit port number from the IP address and paste it into the port box in LEDB app. Once copy pasting is done, tap on OK and if everything goes right, you will see a text that says success which indicate that the ADB is connected. Now let's check if it's actually working by giving a ADB command. A command which I'm typing gives details of the device connected. As you can see that the app is completely working fine. There are several different ADB commands which I will be talking about in a new video. So if you like this video, kindly like and subscribe to my channel.